Yes, I know, I've made quite a few videos about EastEnders now, and there's a good reason for that. I like slagging off EastEnders, because I think it's the worst thing on TV, and it's depressing people. And also, I get loads of hate comments from EastEnders fans out there that stumble across these videos, and that, you know, keeps me quite happy indeed. Have a look at this story with me, because I quite like this one too. Inside EastEnders' demise, as ex-star Derek Martin says the soap is irrelevant and miserable. Ha <laughs> Good old Derek Martin, do you think he's seen some of my videos? I've been saying this for a long time. It is irrelevant to the world. Nothing real happens in there. That small area of London has had so many bloomer murders and kidnaps and terrible things happen. And it's miserable. It is miserable. It's the most depressing show on TV, especially the Christmas specials. They just try and bring you down on what's supposed to be a nice, happy family day. So yeah, nice to see it. an insider saying the same thing as I've been saying. Right, let's see if there's any interesting stuff in this story. It lost the plot years ago, with millions of viewers switching off and big name stars, including Danny Dyer, leaving. Our panel of EastEnders expert, <laughs> EastEnders experts, they have a panel. Who The Sun have a panel of EastEnders Ex Easy money working for the sun, isn't it? They tell Kate Jackson what they think has gone wrong and how to fix it. Okay, well, how can we fix EastEnders? Let's talk to Kate Jackson and find out. So the actor who used to play Charlie Slater for 15 years, that was 15 years, was it? He reckons EastEnders needs to focus less on appealing to young audiences and stop being so miserable. That's the BBC all over though, isn't it? Stop appealing to young audiences so much and be less miserable. Ex-scriptwriter Oliver Kent reckons the humour's gone. Oliver Kent, who's a former EastEnders script editor and BBC head of continuing drama, is now a freelance executive producer who recently worked on... Is this his CV or a newspaper article? He says it's an uncomfortable fact that when a show is good, people watch it, and when it's not so good, they don't. You can't argue with that. You can't argue with that. No, and as it says here... Uh, where was it? You know... When um, Dirty Den handed Angie divorce papers on Christmas Day in 1986, it broke all records with more than 30 million tuning in. There's been some episodes in the last 12 months where it's like one and a half million tuning in. And all right, that's an exceptional one. It was a Christmas Day special, but still, that's like half the British population watching a show as it's being broadcast. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It shows how far they've fallen, doesn't it? Critic Ali Ross reckons Wolford has been stuck in a parallel universe for almost 40 years. <laughs> oh, fan, Hayley Richardson. Oh, so a fan is on the panel, are they? Storyline should stop being depressingly woke. Yeah, they should. Stop the depressing bit. Be as woke as you want, then people can tune in or out. But it's the depressing. It's too depressing. On Albert Square, it's never sunny. Everyone hates each other. No one laughs. And its storylines are depressingly woke. Just what we all need during a global health crisis. Yeah, one thing that really cheered me up was hearing EastEnders getting scrapped. You know, if ratings tank and the BBC decide they need something new and fresh to replace a, you know, a drama soap opera that's years old and has fallen out of favour, what the hell would they do with the £86 million set they've just bought? They've just invested £86 million of your TV licence fees into a set. What happens if EastEnders tanks? What happens then? What are they going to do with that? How can they explain that to license fee payers? That, yeah, sorry, we, we've, we've accidentally spunked 86 million quid of your money. But because of that, I don't see EastEnders going anywhere because they can't. They've got to double down on it because of all that money they've, they've spent. But I think the ratings are going to continue to slide. There's so much competition now, if you like soaps or drama series, and all the streaming services... Uh, making anything, any idea you can take to them for a drama series, they'll make it. And maybe it'll go big. I mean, look at, I mean, what was that thing? Squid Game, wasn't it? Come out of nowhere. Came out of absolutely nowhere from Korea. And it just took over the world. You know, there's so much competition now. People don't need crappy little depressing English soap operas when there's so much choice out there. So I think that, I think it's going to continue sliding. I think it's going to have to get more and more ridiculous to try and just get some viewers. But um, yeah, I think it's over for EastEnders, isn't it? And it does make me quite happy to say that. Oh.
But what do you think about this? I mean, for a while, I thought it was just me saying how irrelevant and miserable EastEnders is. And now to see it in the paper really made my day. And that's the only reason I brought it to you, because it just cheered me right up, little headlines like that. What do you think about EastEnders? And do you think it'll go anywhere anytime soon? Let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.